afternoon, retards. We're back. <laughs> that was terrific. Hey, hey. Man, Rob Stant, Naeem Ali, welcome. Hey, dude, thanks for thanks having for me. Thanks for having us. Thanks appreciate coming. you. We're Hello. riding high, coming off a fucking retard breakfast yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you guys. What a fucking success we have to tell you guys about real quick before we get started. The I picture think. looked beautiful. Dude. It brought was. how many retards again? About 30 retards. And I wasn't one of them. That's sad. Well, <laughs> you know what? We didn't want to invite any of our comedian friends because it felt <laughs> like, do you want to come celebrate our... What we were doing was celebrating our success. Oh, okay. Yeah. With the people who have helped get us there the most. And I, obviously, next time, everybody's invited. Well, everyone's <laughs> always invited. But, like, God damn, dude, showing up with seriously 30 morons and telling this establishment, please seat us and feed us now. <laughs> Taking up, like, four gigantic tables in this beaut- like th- I, There was, like, a secret room in the back that was, like, a gigantic, beautiful banquet hall. Yeah. Beautiful. It looked like a, a room in the art museum, f- like, decorated by, like, a, a classic French artist. Well, this dude, is Shady Maples, This is said? Shady Maples. Incredible, Rob. Yeah, yeah I've dude, never been. One of the most exciting aspects of it was we met outside, and there were, like, 15 retards. <laughs> and we all met. We were. I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe people can't believe came. anyone came. And then we go inside, and there's double the amount of retards there. <laughs> oh, They're waiting yeah. inside for yeah. It was yep. like retard con, dude. Yeah. We, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was, and everyone was dressed like wiggers. It was the best. <laughs> and uh, it was great because the first 15 were up to no good out front. And <laughs> we, so two different vibes were established, and then we, cl- like, it was a wall of death when we all oh, met up yeah. inside mm-hmm. the building. And then we just, I don't know, we just dominated a buffet. <laughs> you know what was really funny, though? Uh, another, a, a, another, so we double again, 30 more retarded guys come in and we find out Danny did some sleuthing. This was, uh, a company outing for a meat packing plant. Oh, oh shit. Wow. Oh, that's the most retarded. <laughs> so we doubled our meat yeah. instantly. Uh, Hell yeah. I always thought that, uh, Shady Maples was a retirement home. Like for the longest sure. time. Okay. That's because you're pluralizing it like a black guy. Oh, is it? Is it Shady Maple? It's Shady Maples. Oh, wait, it's Shady Maple? Oh, it's Shady Maple? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Well, was it Shady Maples and Die Hard? Who's that? Hey, yo. Yeah. Damn. So, yeah, so we double our retards, and then, uh, God damn, Mike uh, presented, we presented two awards uh, for uh, Most Valuable Plumber, obviously Tubbs, and for Retard <laughs> of, of the Year. Uh, Mike Trainer, shout out. And uh, dude, it, before you go any further, I just want to add that right before we presented Mike Trainer with the Retard of the Year award, <laughs> he doused his fucking pancakes in A1 <laughs> steak sauce. Yeah, what the fuck, yo? Oh my god. It was a towering plate. It had meats and eggs and pancakes and waffles and whipped cream on top. And he goes over to a, a, a sauce, like a, you know, syrup and sauce and butter station, and just goes, Ugh. and then spin the giant jug around it had an a1 label on it he goes fuck this dude it's time to commit <laughs> he was like oh. it's time to be about it and ate the entire he ate fucking it? plate the entire plate. Oh, dude, he is God. the man yeah. my trainer is the man that's the boy damn it was a really good time dude one thing i don't know if you guys picked up on i was talking to the mic about this so you know how that bus lady was in the room with us the whole time oh the the employee from shady maples <laughs> yeah um obviously you look at our fan base and it looked like You know, we're treating a bunch of special ed people. (laughs) (laughs) And then you guys give retard awards out. (laughs) And the lady has the most puzzled face, but is clapping, like celebrating the award. That sounds like a fever dream I'd have. Like, I was at a buffet and they were giving out retard awards. Pretty pretty bizarre stuff, man. We all walked in like we owned the place, and the lady at the front desk was like, uh, is he a famous boxer? (laughs) Yeah, Mike said, yeah, I'm Floyd Gayweather. (laughs) (laughs) Hard work. Retardation. (laughs) Damn, bro. So, yeah, I mean, so we're we're thinking, we're already brainstorming the next trip, and we're thinking we might get get a private suite for Monster Jam. (laughs) Oh, that'd be beautiful. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. Anyway, it was great. You know, it was Fuck really, yeah. really what was kind of worrying me was that uh, they do obviously like bus trips to Shady Maples yeah. from like retirement homes, churches, adult assisted living homes. You're pluralizing <laughs> it now too. He's got you. He's got I, you well, it's, it's, See, dude, I, I mean, yeah. uh, it Shady sounds, Maples from here on out. It sounds more natural. Shady Maples. Like, yeah. There's like multiple. Yeah, like, everything better with an S on it. Yeah. He activated my wigger gene. <laughs> <laughs> But I was worried that, like, an actual bus full of, like, handicapped adults was going to show up. And they were like, oh, your party's already here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, it would be us and... We would have had to fight them. 
<laughs> oh, 100%. We like got Battle Royale walked, style? Dude. Yeah, we would have had to flip uh, wheelchairs. You if already we, got you got the bat, you got the right. knives. If we just got ready. Donkey Kong by adult Down Syndrome guys, <laughs> oh, you would have been done. If they if they, listen, three Down Syndrome men beat 30 normal men any day of the week, bro. <laughs> they strong as fuck. They're That's the right. real gladiators. They're berserkers. <laughs> They're called, yeah. berserkers. It's called retard strength for a reason, right? Yeah, it's... bro. They don't got no governors on their brain. They rip your fucking, <laughs> off, fucking rip your limbs off, dog. <laughs> Naeem, have you ever had a fight a special guy? I did in elementary school. How'd that go? <laughs> this kid, Marcus Booth, beep out his last name. Wait, was, were you, <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't were you matter. also in elementary school, or was this like yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were both in elementary school. And what happens is, so uh, we were in Catholic school, and you, you used to have to line up mm -hmm. to uh, like before you went inside in the morning. And everybody was in line, right? But he was standing like over here, and he was standing like this. Like he was standing like 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 leaned over. And I was like, just staring at him. And he was like, why are you staring at me? He was like, it's because I'm weird, ain't it? And I was like, yes, you weird <laughs> as fuck. And then he punched the shit out of me. He punched me. So it's the, that was the first time anybody ever hit me and I fell. Mm -hmm. and can, I, we get, can we get a little bit of a description of the punch? Because there's no way this was, you know, from the hip, turn the oh, shoulder. Oh, hell no, bro. This was like a King Hippo. Like, bro, hop, hop. this shit uh -huh. came from the heavens, bro. He came down like this <laughs> on me. And he caught me like right here. Ooh, the door knock. Yes, and it fucking floored me. <laughs> And I got up and I, I hit him maybe three or four times. It did nothing. Mm -hmm. Like the first hit, I, the first punch I threw knocked his glasses off. So I thought like, oh, I'm fucking winning this fight. But then the second punch I threw, he just stood there. Like he didn't even move out the way. He didn't block it. He didn't do shit. He just took it. Then the third one I threw hit him in like the chest. And then he grabbed me and threw me on the ground. Damn. And then like was holding my arms. With like with like holding both my arms down, and then that's when the uh, nun came and broke it up. When he threw you on the ground, was it like a shove, or did he do nah, like nah, the nah, grab nah, and bruh. twist where your legs come and whip around? He literally grabbed me and like. I'm watching you almost stab yourself yeah. with this knife like six times now. <laughs> You're like, a... he's fucking, I got him on the <laughs> ground. It's the spirit of Marcus Booth. <laughs> no, I'm, listen, Marcus bruh, Booth. I'm Mike. good with a knife. I got Puerto Ricans in my family. I know exactly, <laughs> I know exactly how to work these things, Rob. Oh, See, I'm more of a gun guy myself, so. Yeah, if you guys had one of those. I'd, I'd have a little bit more fun. But those are gun guy shoes, I guess. dude. Yeah, I just got done. Are. Yeah, these are, these are fucking America shoes, dude. Yeah, for real. I just got done work, so this is my. These are my work kicks. What do you oh, do? Really? Can you I, tell us what you do? I do. I work in IT in uh, oh, out in Westchester. Man, yeah, I'm sorry. It sucks, but it's all right. <laughs> well, so what do you need well, those for if you do IT? <laughs> all right. Well, the fuck because do you need? Shut up. Toes? Because he shut up. That's with a gun. <laughs> 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 Try it now. <laughs> I wore Nikes, and they were like, no. I was like, all right. <laughs> That's the whole point of IT is that you, you don't actually do anything for your job, so you just start dressing like you're working. Like, <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, are okay. you patching drywall all day? Or <laughs> right. like, They made me grow my hair out. It was weird. <laughs> hey Rob, could you uh, stop in my office? Uh, looks like you don't really have any cell phones clipped to your belt. <laughs> Is everything okay with you? Or Rob, and, Rob and I crossed paths earlier in life without knowing one another. Rob was a student at the school where I was perked up at. Are you allowed to say the school or no? Yeah, oh course. shit, yeah. Chichester, Chichester High School. Whoa, that's hell yeah, up. dude! All my chai rats out there, if they're listening. What? I went and bought yep. fireworks there on Sunday, and I got at the school. No, no. <laughs> at the fireworks facility in Chichester, which I didn't get to set off. So if anybody wants to buy two hundred dollars worth of fireworks, Damn, dude. just message me on Twitter. Oh hell yeah! Should have set those things off anyway, dude. Fuck, I fuck the Super Bowl, can't, man. <laughs> what, 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 what facet of IT? Because I'll make this funny, I promise. What facet of IT do you work in? What do you do? Like help desk? Nah, I do like audio visual support type shit. Ah! A it's a little bit cooler. Yeah, it's like I'm a technically I'm a conference technology specialist. Oh no! I just help old ladies. You dialing. plug HDMI cables yeah, into yeah, laptops. That's it, bro. No, but it's IT that's an technically. entire job. Yeah, what? Yo. that was like if I <laughs> if I disliked a coworker, I'd be like, go over to the conference room, dude. There's some fucking dickhead that can't plug his shit. Dude, in. that's all I do. <laughs> that's all I do. And they're like, thank you so much. And I'm like, yeah, I'm the best. What the hell, dude? That's the easiest I'm, job ever. Yeah, dude. That's why I'm like, whatever. It works with comedy. Like I get out early. You know, it's 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 perfect. It's like mm. you know. And you're wearing heavy load sneakers, dude. These look, these old That's ladies. You they can need do your me. job in slippers. <laughs> 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 and you, you went tactical, dude. These came with the job. Nice. I'm telling you. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> smart. That's smart. Make it look harder than it is. Oh yeah. That was my. Oh yeah, dude. Anytime my boss sees me, I'm like, whoo. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, those HDMI cables, man. Mm -hmm. you, you I had do... to reach pretty far back and just use my two <laughs> fingers to kind of like get the last little plug in there for that one. I don't know. I should probably get home early. I am... do look like a build a bear that somebody would get for a construction worker that <laughs> lost a limb. <laughs> Does it come with a knife or is this extra? <laughs> Man. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's all right. yeah, I just left work too. I, I got another job in accounting again. 
I tried to do that um, Dude, social gonna... media coordinator shit, but I can't do it. Yeah. You tried to be a social media coordinator? Bruh, yes, because I thought it was easy. So Whose just... idea was that? So what happened is one of my friends- Did they know out... that you retweet porn? <laughs> no, they, they don't know that at all. <laughs> they don't know. Everybody should retweet porn. <laughs> Yo, share what you like, bruh. You see what I'm saying? It's nice until you're on Twitter and there's an old lady next to you. You're trying to connect an HDMI cable. You fucking open up your phone. You're like, oh, shit, Naeem's fucking just titties on here. <laughs> uh, yo, all my friends complain about that. Like, yo, can you just stop? Like, why do you have to like it and share? It's like, bro, I want you to see. You should live as an open book. I'm you like you. what you like. Yeah, I like what I like, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. you, uh, listen. So you tried to do it for a You tried to tweet for a living? Yeah, and at first I could do it, right? <laughs> But it's for a staffing agency, and that's boring as fuck. I don't want to call do you that. He means like Naeem, We know you're shaking your damn head. Can <laughs> you stop adding it to the tweet? <laughs> yeah, yo. yeah, bro, they hated me. Oh, sorry. Wait. Oh, I mean, you're on. I mean, that's not a job for you. It's not. That's not for you. I went back to the county. I would have never easy. guessed accountant. I've I've said that so many times to you. Yeah, I mean, cause you you met me once I started comedy. Yeah, that's true. At at 27 years old, 28 is when I first started talking. So prior to that, you'd have been like, oh, this guy's a fucking nerd. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you thought about starting your own accounting firm? Maybe, like, something don't add up? <laughs> Yo, and look, I'm an auditor, so that would work. That would work. That would definitely work. Yo, something don't add up. Oh, I like that. Something ain't add up here. Yeah, I like that. God damn. Yeah, yo, but it's, it's all right. Now I do, um, I do lottery reconciliations. That's What's easy that as fuck. So it's like, so let's say you go play the lottery and you win, right? And then you take it, and I do it for Wawa. So then let's say you go to Wawa, you cash in your ticket. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy that makes sure they're giving you the proper amount of money. Whoa. Yeah, so at the end of every month, I, and it's literally every Wawa on the East Coast from like fucking what? Wherever, I guess New York or Jersey, all the way to Florida. Is there any chance that you'll get to like give someone a big check? Bro, I, I, I would definitely be here. Because when, when, when like somebody wins big, like my department gets bonuses. Damn, that's, that's that seems like a conflict sick. of interest. Yeah, no, I'm not. But here's the thing: I can't play the lottery. Oh damn. Yeah, I can't play the lottery. But I never really did any fucking way. Are you what? guys ga uh, gamblers at all? You, you guys gamble? Nah, not too much, man. No. Mm -mm. What's the losing. largest amount you've ever had to reconcile? Uh shit. Most of the time, it's just like a couple hundred dollars. Nobody really wins the lottery, bro. Like what? most of the time, it's like that's not true. I mean, but I, you got to think. I only been doing this job for three weeks now. So okay. in, my, so. in my three weeks, the most amount I've seen. Now, we saw an employee that stole, like, nine grand. Oh, that's good. There we go. Yeah, because she, she was stealing a bunch of lottery tickets, and then one of them was a winner for, like, nine grand. Or she was like. trying to walk out with big checks every day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Yo, this bitch was retarded. She fucking, she fucking, she, 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 when she would load the machine, she she opened it up, and she would just stuff a bunch of tickets in her pocket and then load the rest. And then, look, on the tape when they called her, she stuffed them in her pocket, closed the machine, and then she hugged the machine. Like, thank you. Fucked up. Yes, thank like she you hugged the machine like, thank you so much. I love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> and she won nine grand. Yeah. I didn't steal this. My boyfriend gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She definitely tried to lie. It's like, nope, lady, you're going to federal prison. Keep on scratching, bitch. <laughs> Dude, I Hell lost yeah. like 600 yeah. bucks. She doesn't playing. scratch the ticket. She hits it with the palm of her hand. <laughs> 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 But people that don't oh, get it, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, sometimes I forget. Some people didn't live in the hood. Have you guys hey. noticed that there's more and more of weave? Uh, remnants around. Yes. Is there more of it, or are you just noticing more of I it? I could be noticing yeah. it. What do they call it? Uh, your reticular activating system. When you become aware of something, you start to see it yeah, more Yeah, you often. see it everywhere. Mm, that's oh, that's a big word. I thought you were looking for the word tumbleweed. That's what I thought you were going for, <laughs> tumbleweed, but yeah. Tumbleweed is yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Or are women just getting more casual with it and just like, whatever. They're like, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. And Was there's it? more wigs now. Women wear, uh, more, wear uh, wigs more. Uh, lace fronts and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's a in a wig at this point. They should make them yeah. biodegradable, you know? Biodegradable. Ooh, that's weave. smart. Yeah, yeah, make it out of hemp or some shit. Yeah, dude. See, green, fucking. Green wig. Yeah, let's go, Let's make a business. Bio, biodegradable weaves. Hell yeah. We could be like that 15 year old Indian kid that's cleaning all the plastic out of the ocean. Right. We'll get all, we'll get all the weave out of like 7 Eleven trackers. <laughs> <laughs> now, Tim, what do you think that 50 year old Indian guy's uh, Shark Tank pitch would sound like? Sharks, today I'm here to tell you that we no longer have to live with microplastics in our blood and wigs. That's probably, something like that is what he would say. Yeah. Obviously, in real life, it's probably more offensive. <laughs> <laughs> but, in my, but in my imagination where everything's like kind of like chill, it's yeah. probably reasonable like that. 
But, oh, damn. How many times have you felt your ventricular digestive system activated <laughs> over the weeks of <laughs> the black ladies coming into your Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> Trust, what did I tell you? It would probably be something like that. Who would invest in it? You think Mark Cuban? I think they all would. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they all invest in that. Naeem, I got to hear about your adventures. Oh, the adventures are plentiful, bro. Naeem recently went on tour with Shane Gillis. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. And he was playing theaters. Yes. And it was ridiculous fun. And it's also kind of scary, bro. You know, just seeing a bunch of people and they fucking crowding the fuck out of your homie and shit. And it's just like, all right, y'all, just chill out. He's just a guy. You know what I mean? But it is fun. I wish it was more hoes. I thought we were going to get some hoes, bro. <laughs> the whole time I'm like, so, oh, hell, I'm like, we going to fuck so many bitches out. No, not a one. No hoes. <laughs> it's all dudes. Just all fat white men. It's the same people who are at Shady Maple. <laughs> <laughs> the same exact people who are at Shady Maple. Yes. The same exact ones. <laughs> yes. This is 800 dudes with A1 on popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> A1 people and Bud Lights. Dude, I'm going to fucking buy these dudes a beer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, all right. So this, uh, let, let's start out with the worst part of it. The worst part was, so... Sec, we were in Dallas the first day, and I was in the room, and I don't know what it is about, like, trips and planes and shit, bro. They make me, like, emotional, right? Mm-hmm. So I get to the room, and I'm, like, crying and shit. I'm all <laughs> fucked up. Like, oh, my God. I can't believe all this shit is happening. And at the same time, I miss my kids. I want to go back home. Like, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I'm all mm-hmm. fucked up. So then I walk out the room, and Tommy Pope, shout out to Tommy, ah, ah, ah. Tommy Pope is like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? And I'm like. Nothing, I'm fine. I thought I wiped away all the tears, but you know, you can still tell when somebody was crying. Yeah, so the Shane was Italian. He's an emotional savant. Yes, exactly. So he knew exactly what was going on. So yeah, the Shane walked. What's the matter up. at you? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So the Shane walks up. He's like, he's like, yo, dude, what's wrong? Like, you all right? I said, yeah. He was like, all right, man, we got a show. We got to do. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm ready. I'm good, bro. So we get to the show, do the show, great. Everybody kills. Show's over. We in the green room. It's the, like the fucking punter and some motherfuckers from the Patriots come in there. And then it's like some baseball player boys that come in there, right? So when they walk in. The punter not- is there. Finally, some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. So the fucking uh, Tommy introduced me to the guys from the Patriots. He's like, oh, yeah, look, this is Naeem. Naeem, this is such and such, blah, blah, blah. So I go, hey, what's up, y'all? So he's like, hey, guys, guess what? He's like. He was fucking in the room crying right before we came in here. Oh, He's a fucking fuck. pussy. He misses Philly. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then him and Shane just start roasting me, bro, in front of professional athletes. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> and he got punched by a retarded kid. <laughs> right. I'm yeah. like, God damn it. That's what having your boys around is good for. It is, though. Yeah. Imagine, oh, okay, imagine if they're not there and you're like, okay, pull it together, Naeem. And you go out and you kill in front of the biggest crowd you've ever seen. Yeah. And then. Like that switch in your brain flips. You go, oh, I rule. Like Ooh, imagine if your boys right. aren't there to check you. Yeah, and I started yeah. feeling myself. You're right. I God needed that. Damn. In that moment, I needed that. They'd have to that. leave you in Dallas. They would have had to leave me there. <laughs> How often do you guys cry? Shut up. Shut <laughs> uh, <laughs> the fuck up, Mike. <laughs> I would say like probably like twice a year. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe three. Damn. It's, yeah. You're a know. damn soldier, bro. That's it? I don't know. I'm trying. It, it, well, it depends. Like it depends Whoa, on. Are you like, about to cry now? I just miss Philly. <laughs> it depends. Ben, can you give me those tissues, please? <laughs> hey, Damn. Rob misses Philly. Too. <laughs> but when I do cry, dude, it's like it gets. It's a. It's a hard cry. Full body. Yeah, full Whoa. body. Like it's like. I'm out of commission for a little bit, you know. I haven't nice. had one of those in years. But yeah. but I'll get tripped up on like a movie with Mary mm-hmm. Joe. Mm-hmm. And I know that as long as I hold out before she like as long as she starts crying first, they go, Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Cause once that tear rolls down your cheek and like gets into her hair, she'll be like, What the f- are you crying on me? <laughs> what the fuck? You, bruh. you know what I mean? You gotta let it. Once she starts crying, you go, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm also sad about the gay guys in the zombie show. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, bro. That was emotional. Very Did emotional. Did you cry? Shut up, Nine. Did you cry? Got pretty close to it, bro. bro. The, I never had sympathy for a gay man until then. Bro, you you cried from your imagination at the theater. I don't want to hear about. I did. It. I was at least watching something, bro. I could cry. Listen, you put the you put the wrong song on right now. Mm-hmm. I'm crying. Certain songs, Ooh. as by Stevie Wonder. If that comes on anywhere, Dang. I gotta run the fuck out the building, bro. Somebody said whenever Click came out. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's Click, a good cry. Click is a good cry. 
Well, you guys have kids. I'm the only one here who doesn't have kids. So does that when you have kids, is oh, like is life more emotional? Yeah, or it's bro, like, you backed up on the inside. Yeah, everything they do. I remember like going to when you go to like the the kindergarten uh, presentations they have where all the kids sing at the same time. Yeah, and they do. A, yeah, that's that's a normal. Lucy fainted at hers. It was kind of really? yeah. It was kind of stuffy on the day of Lucy's kindergarten presentation, and uh, they're in the. I mean, they're standing there like while the teacher is like explaining what they're about to do, and then they sing some song or whatever, and like it's just a bunch of kids in a hot room, and their knees are locked. And at the end of one of the songs, I was like, t- I was turning to like walk toward like our jackets, I guess, and out of the corner of my eye, Lucy tips, she falls over, and both of her feet go up in the air. like she did the cartoon. Fall. Oh, she, the two feet, just two <laughs> feet up in the air, like a sack of potatoes. Damn. Yeah. Ben loved that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she overheated. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did you guys ever pass out at school? No, not at school. I passed out. I passed out of my mom's bathroom before. I shit myself once. At school, Damn, yeah, at school, school. yeah, it was what pretty happened? rough. What grade, dude? I was in the uh, seventh grade, and uh, I was in science. Bad. It was rough, and uh, I was in science class. Dude, you might have been working there. <laughs> I might have passed you after I shit myself. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I um, I was in the- <laughs> some wigger substitute fell asleep in my corner of the bathroom, and I shit myself on the way to the nurse's Yo. office. <laughs> so I like, I was, always, I was always like scared of like pooping in like public restrooms. Mm. So I was like. I asked to go to the bathroom, and so like I'm like I really have to shit, and I go to the bathroom, and I'm like maybe I just have to fart, right? I'm in denial, so I go to fart and just rock it into my underwear. Oh, <laughs> so I ended up I go into the fucking stall, and like I get like I, I fucking take like my underwear off, I like wrap it up in like toilet paper, and I threw it in the trash, oh, and I just I free balled it the rest of the day through school. So I was pretty I was pretty stealth about it. You did actually you? handled that pretty well. Yeah, yeah, wow. I was yeah I did it like hitman style, dude. There's now, did actually you have light colored pants on or dark colored? Oh, I was wearing like jeans. Okay. Yeah, but my underwear caught it perfectly. Like, oh, it that's have been, oh, it was like a catcher's That saved net. you. That yeah, saved yeah. you. Yeah, there's a, there's a point between shitting my pants and realizing I can clean myself up where I go, like, I go into full, like, squirrel brain panic yeah. mode. I'm like, this is a life or death situation, dude. And uh, it's, I mean, I, I had the same situation on set, uh, Sunday morning. I sat down to do a Twitch stream, and I instantly shit my pants. I'm like, ah, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll just put on a really long song. No, <laughs> That's fucking crazy. The yeah. crazy thing is, I, I don't know. I, like, when I when I hit, like, 15, maybe younger than that, when I hit, like, probably 8 or 9, I was like, I'm never going to shit on myself again. And then I shit on myself again when I was in, like, college. You fucking thought. <laughs> yeah, I thought, bro. I probably shit myself more than I cry, dude. Oh. It's like four times a year. <laughs> That's <laughs> healthy. That's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I try to stay at least one ahead. <laughs> what the hell? I, we had a kid that pissed his pants in first grade and had to change schools. Mm, it was really? that vicious. In first grade? Yeah. First grade, kid pissed. He was like a skinny little ginger kid. Maybe his family uh, was, was just he was ginger, moving dude. anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I mean, gingers was just, there was no no bullying laws back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was vicious. I pissed myself in first grade. Yeah. I think everybody pissed themselves in first yeah, grade. Yeah, I, I feel like it was pretty normal. There was yeah, one girl that would way. do it all the time. This girl Juanita. It would seem like a weekly thing with this girl. Yeah. No, that's weird, and they should be embarrassed. No, one of my mm-hmm. best friends did. One of my, I was about to say his name, not gonna say it. One of my best friends, he had like a, he had like a bladder problem, mm-hmm. so he used to have to bring an extra pair of pants to school like mm-hmm. every fucking day because he would piss on himself every day. What grade was this? Oh, bro, this ain't stopped till like eighth grade. He did this every day. Then he had he had to get surgery. <laughs> he got surgery. When he was in eighth grade. Then he stopped pissing on himself. What they? What kind of surgery did they do to him? I don't know. It was some type of bladder shit. The pro, the, the crazy thing is he Wine wouldn't feel surgery. it. Wine <laughs> 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 Tight in a knot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I realized though? If you piss on yourself a lot, you don't know that you pissed on yourself. Like he like it got to the point where he wouldn't even know. It does feel nice though. Yeah, you warming up something. It's comforting yeah, almost. You warm up. And then you're like, oh, I gotta clean this up. Mm-hmm. You know? That's what heroin addicts feel like all over their body. <laughs> they feel like they're just pissing all yeah, over their body. This is just child heroin. <laughs> 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 Danny, is this set uh, piss proof? By any chance? Ooh. Let's find please, out. Please don't piss in here. Yeah. Uh, Damn it, Danny. <laughs> I, I thought it would be really cool if we all pissed ourselves. Yeah. Dude, my wife brought a puppy in here, and it instantly pissed, and I made her get rid of that puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I would do it just to explain to my wife when I get home, like, on Valentine's Day. Like, yeah, no, I, I pissed myself <laughs> with the boys. Hell Sorry. Yeah. That's a good move. <laughs> you got anything special planned for Valentine's Day, gentlemen? No, I got. I just ordered some flowers and like candy and stuff. I got it sent to my girl's job. I think we're eating tacos. Me and my wife are gonna eat some tacos. I have, I'm supposed to be doing a show tonight. I'm supposed to be doing Tata's Dirty Show. Oh, yeah. yeah so oh, I think I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go home, eat some tacos. Me and maybe her will bang. 
Mm-hmm. And I'll go go do Tata's Dirty Show. Got to get, mm-hmm. got to squeeze one out. You Damn, know? you can fuck before comedy. I can't do that. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm a young man. Okay. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know, you're right. You are a young man. Okay, yeah. you stay over I there, forgot. you fucking geezer. Hey, you're right. I forgot, bro. <laughs> you're right. No, bro. Hey, bro baby right. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta plan my fucking out, bro. Mm-hmm. That shit takes a lot out of me. You're like a boxer. That's a, that's the boxing training in your, true. In your background. Yeah, you don't want to make your legs weak before don't you stand make my legs. up comedy. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah. True. <clears throat> you I, you can't have anything in your brain that makes you think I'm the man before you do stand up. No. You gotta I, earn it out there. That's right. Okay. Gotta earn it, dog. Every time before I walk on stage, I'm like, I hate myself. I suck. I'm I like, why am I doing this? And it's like, this me every time yeah. I walk mm-hmm. out. And you like, open the door and go, hey. hey! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Definitely have never questioned myself. I'm full of confidence. I'm not the worst guy in the world. My brain works fine. Mm-hmm. Good to see you. Who's dating? I got a little P.U.S.S.Y. after Shady Maples yesterday. Ooh, oh, yeah. See Shady Maples? Dad. You said it too. Hell yeah. Is that a thing now? We you made it. Oh, dude. fuck yeah, dude. I'm, I, I, had, I lost complete control over my entire digestive system for 24 hours. Mm. It was crazy. Damn. My, dude, my ass was in a fugue state. <laughs> is that a brand new sentence? Like, Has anybody said that before? <laughs> <laughs> that got to be a, yeah. a new sentence. <laughs> After four full plates of Amish food, mm. I was in a, uh, I mean, my God, it was an oil spill. Do you find Amish women attractive? I don't think so. No, actually. What about you guys? Damn, yeah. When they on, uh, what is it called, Rum Springer? Yeah. When they do that, hell yeah, they be hot as fuck. They're like See, the shopkeepers in video games. There's just nothing that... They don't exist. I like the opposite. Yeah. Naeem, I, I like to pretend that they're just on the verge of rum springing. So, like, they're, Ooh, okay. they're hot. Hulk- Hulkamania is about uh, to run wild, but it's not sure. run wild yet. Okay, yeah. That's the opposite end of, like, I can save this stripper. I can rum spring of this Amish girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> yeah. that's where you like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, you can't do that, man. Can't. I'm going to go home and look up Amish porn just to, like, test oh, it out. Damn, yeah, I am going to look uh, that dude. up. It's yeah. just going to be a pixelated butter churner. Yeah, because yeah, I can't give you the, <laughs> the entire community <laughs> helping the guy push. Damn. <laughs> I met some of them at uh, Raven Lounge. What were Damn they doing it? there? They was on Rumspringer, and they came down. They that's when we used to do the uh, do regular Deer Tag Live at Raven, and they came down. And me and Drew was trying to fuck them, and then Peggy O'Leary was like, "Get away from these guys! They're no good." She made them get away from us because they was they was about to leave with us. Damn, you should she, made she them take her with them. <laughs> All right, you should have forced her to be out. Oh yeah, for that. <laughs> take Peggy back with you. What's the Amish version of a cock block? Mm. Um, probably an actual chicken. Yeah. <laughs> an actual chicken. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> what time's your buggy getting here? <laughs> uh, sorry, I gotta get my chicken outside. <laughs> Damn. Gosh darn it, man. Yeah. I saw a, a video of the cops trying to pull over an Amish guy and his uh, horse and buggy because he was drunk and he was asleep. And they couldn't make it stop because the horse was still just going. Yeah, well, as long as the horse isn't fucked up, he's good, right? And as the cop said, the, the cop was like, the horse knows how to get home. Just leave him alone. <laughs> but the guy was in there knocked the fuck out. Like, So is it like that with Teslas then? If it's like, no, my Tesla knows how to get home. Yeah, dude, it like, should be. Yeah. I would think so. Did I tell you guys about the, I saw a guy sleeping in his Tesla and it was still driving on, a, it was either the Turnpike or 76 or something. Mm-mm. It was two lanes on the highway and it was like one of those 70 mile an hour highways yeah. around here. And the right lane was completely backed up, and it was so fucked up that, like, people were getting to the... You couldn't see why it was backed up, but people were getting this car and then having to go around them, and then the left lane... So now both lanes are fucked up because yeah. of this fucking dickhead. And when we drove by, I thought he was having a stroke. What? Because like, the car was, like... It was, like, getting to the white line and bouncing off. Oh, It was shit. really weird, and it was only going 50 miles an hour. And so I was like, do we call 911 or whatever? And Mary Jo informed me. She's like, oh, no, that guy's actually asleep. And it was just a guy like this in his Tesla. What? Damn, yo? dude. What a champion. Yeah. And That's then nuts. I, my point was, like, he probably gets home and he's like, I can't believe that worked again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a psycho. Yeah. Yeah. He looked like a real dickhead, too. Yeah. I, don't, I, I wouldn't trust that. If I get a self driving Tesla, I'm rubbing one out, dude. Hmm. Just fucking. Oh, they got the big back. screens. They do got oh, the big yeah, screen. Yep. You're awake, right? Yeah, well, he probably passed out afterwards, you know? Like, I'm trying to... Mm. Oh, like, dude, the cop pulls you over, you just <laughs> drenched. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Do you have to open it when the cop knocks, or can you finish cranking? Oh, man. <laughs> if, he's a, if he's a good guy, he'll let you finish. <laughs> like, what kind of cop wants to be like, no, 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 now? <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Now seems like a great time to thank our sponsors. This episode of Dad Meat is presented to you by Manscaped. Guys, how are your penises, buttholes? Mm, I need some back help. pussies. Yeah, I just shaved before I went on vacation, so I'm doing good, dude. 
It's still holding up. It's still holding up. Yeah. I, you know, that's 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 a great point that I'm glad you brought up. I could shave my shit like I'm a hairy guy. I could shave my shit and it probably won't grow back for another three months. Really? Yeah. Damn. Get, mine grow right back. Not do you me, go buddy. full bald? Do you do like razor or do you do like No, pretty close to the skin though. Uh, I do mm -hmm. razor, dude. I'm like a baby down there. Oh, I can't baby. I got the manscape. Uh, lawn, lawnmower 3.0 from Manscaped. Okay. You can go to manscaped.com, promo code FATBIRD, and you can check out their line of products. They got a lot of shit to get your shit shorn, make it smell nice, and make it presentable, uh, especially today. I know everybody's trying to get a little P-U-S-S-Y. Mm -hmm. Or for those Love of you guys you listening get. that don't get P-U-S-S-Y, I know you're trying to get a little B-U-T-T-H-O-L-E. <laughs> You can get that F-R-O-M-G-U-Y-S. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're getting tonight, I wish you had thought ahead. And if you did think ahead, you went to manscaped.com, promo code FATBIRD, make it look nice, make it smell nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes I do feel bad for my wife because, like, I'm not always on top of that shit. And, like, sometimes she will be sucking some meat and she will start hacking up. Yeah, women don't yeah. want to be married to a swimmer, Mike, okay? <laughs> be, be kind to yourself, all right? All right, I will. Yeah, unfortunately, my wife's not married. Obviously, don't be a bad neighbor, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. Yeah. I, <laughs> right? I'd rather drown my wife in swimmers, if yeah. you know what I'm talking about, Tim. <laughs> but go to manscaped.com, promo code FATBIRD. Also, check out True Classic. If you go to trueclassic.com, you can check out their full line of activewear. They're my favorite t-shirts that I have. I might even treat myself to some other activewear from True Classic. Mm. Tim, you've been wearing your t-shirts lately, brother? Yeah, but honestly, I'm starting to get into, like, 2XL stuff. What? Yeah, that trip to Foreman Mills kind of woke something up in my brain. Mm. Yeah, Foreman Mills is a wild place that I definitely want to get into, man. But yeah. I'm sticking with True Classic. I, I wear the fucking t-shirts almost every day. It's the most comfortable t-shirt that I own. Rob, you ever wear True Classic stuff? No, but I am now. They're delicious. Hell yeah. They're going to look good on you, too. If they look good on me, they look good on you. We have similar builds. We look like guys that would be in a gangbang line. Oh, hell yeah. Dude. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Hell a gangbang yeah. at Shady Maples. Just... <laughs> and if you look like Rob and I, treat yourself to some stuff from trueclassic.com, promo code FATBIRD. It's, it's affordable. It's great quality. And it just looks good on guys like Rob and I. Also, check out bluechew.com. Almost every boner that I've had in 2023 is thanks to bluechew.com. Mm -hmm. I fucking take it when I don't have to. I take it if I just feel like getting a little bit riled up. If I'm home alone, I'll take a blue chew and just just go on the internet and just... A little bit of dad nip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go ahead, man. Yeah. I go crazy with it, but go to bluechew.com. Use promo code FATBIRD. They're going to send you a free sample. You just got to pay the five bucks for shipping and handling. They're going to have you talk to some weirdo who's probably from fucking Eastern Europe. Doesn't speak a lot of English, but technically I guess he is a doctor, so they will approve you. Just do that. Pay the five bucks for shipping. Get a blue chew. And uh, one of these days, this is going to be the last Blue Chew ad that we read. Because um, I don't think they like when we say they're not really doctors. Oh, oh okay. Oh. But well, I'm just giving you guys the truth. Blue Chew, it does work. So. It does. I mean, it's all I've above tried. board. Yeah. It's above board. It it's, is, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Blue Chew had a couple inches, bro. They do. One what time, are they paying us? One time we take this ad any you mean further. Like a double are they up? paying us well? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's why I don't care anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does work, yeah, but I don't Bonk give a it, fuck. Dude, it they're works. devil worshiping fake doctors. They're not even real. <laughs> hey, dude. Yo, Your head is going to feel like it's going to fucking explode, but you will get a boner. Yep. Bluetooth.com, promo code FATBIRD. Finally, go to BetterHelp.com. I say it all the time. BetterHelp was one of the <laughs> one of the things that was instrumental in me turning my shit around over the summer when I when I had a fucking bad case of the uh, of a shoot up a workplace. You. <laughs> Majiggies. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, I was not yeah. doing well. But there's a lot of things that I credit. I credit uh, microdosing, uh, good buddies like Tim Butterly, who helped me through it, and then also um, betterhelp.com. I got set up with a good therapist. I got lucky right off the bat. I got a good lady. Good ladies, hard to find. Good therapists, hard to find. The good ones are either married or gay, but I got one that was unmarried and not gay. She was great. You could do fucking regular fucking video conferencing. You could do texting. You could talk over the phone. Whatever's easiest for you, for you. And also, if you get a therapist that absolutely sucks fucking fat dick, you can switch them out really easily. Use mm -hmm. promo code FATBIRD for BetterHelp.com as well. You get a nice discount, and uh, yeah, give it a shot if you need help. Great job, Mike. Thanks, buddy. So professional. Very professional. What did, what did I want to ask you about? I mentioned it during one of the ad reads. Foreman Mills. Yeah, Foreman, Foreman Mills. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dude, Tim shirts from Foreman Mills. Dude, stretching my bills and getting soda t-shirts. Yes. Fuck out. Oh, that's a Foreman Mills shirt? Bro. 
They're, it's nice. better than ever. It the looks mo- like streetwear. It looks like something you'd pay $1,000 for. Yeah, for right. Real. I know. And instead, <laughs> all it is, it just costs like $19, but you do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Mike and I have been relying on Foreman Mills for all of our wigger gear for as long as we've been filming stuff mm-hmm. and probably in Mike's personal life. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always been kind of like a, um, a crapshoot. You know, um, like y- you go in there and you go like, OK, how fucked up are these? Cl- like, it's like I think they were mostly like manufacturing rejects that you could yeah. buy a form of mills. Um, but now it's like they've got some pretty good stuff and their retarded stuff is more retarded than mm-hmm. ever. It's like, dude, oh, any, wow. Any candy you can think of, they've got a bomber jacket for it. Mm-hmm. OK. Any soda you can think of, they've got full matching sweatsuits. Nice. Up. They got Chucky on everything. Oh, fuck Dude, yeah. bootleg horror stuff. Every I, I, it was phenomenal. We had a fucking ball in there, mm-hmm. um, and I. It's like three minutes from here, so I'm, I'm going to be living in there for the spring. But the best part was you go up to the you go up to pay for your stuff, and they've got notices posted at each cash register, <laughs> and they had a um, they had a, a recall of children's clothing for uh, lead levels. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, imagine, so, imagine getting fucking cancer because you look so fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got cancer of the brim. What? Yeah. <laughs> Your kids are going to look great in that casket. Yeah. Dude, they had they had high-vis work shirts in children's sizes, 7 for $10. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So what are they you... putting lead in? What part of the shirt... Needs lead. I mean, I have no idea what this. Yeah, what cool is this spot made out of? Yeah, that's yeah, definitely you know lead. That's lead for sure. <laughs> there's, there's a wet, a wet circle on my torso <laughs> from the cool spot on my shirt. Yeah, Ew. Tim's gonna have Chinese rib cancer next week. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Damn bro, man. But I mean, dude, it's got kind of a NASCAR feel to it. Very NASCAR. You know, I feel like a fucking a guy that has sex with his cousins to be driving me right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we Damn. went in there. We knew we would find something that we liked, but as soon as we walked in, I think at the same time we both went, "Whoa!" Because mm-hmm. it was like cool shit that, like, yeah, you can make fun of, but also we each bought shit that we we're going to wear outside of retard-related activities. Yeah. Well, actually, for tax purposes, this was all uh, podcasting uniforms. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nice. But their shit looks so fucking good. Yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah, but that should get you hype. You got shit. a closet full of Foreman Mills clothes. Mm-hmm. Our Shady Maples outfits were coordinated uh, matching sweatsuits uh, that just said hustle on it. And then up the side of the legs, it said hustle, success, repeat. Oh, <laughs> nice. Dude, that's the wigger wash cycle. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, nice. one thing that we should do, I mean, yesterday's fucking Shady Maple trip was obviously a massive success. What if we organized a group forming Mills outing? That could get pretty dicey. That I mean, it is in a pretty bad place. <laughs> that is not a great place. There's a plasma donation store across the street. Dude, in the video that I took of <laughs> you just walking up to the front of the building, you hear uh, somebody yell, I cannot find her. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. So wait, where, which one were you at? That's Air uh, Mango. Air Mango? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. By the way, from what I'm hearing, that's the only one left. All the other form of Mills is really? inside of Philly, I guess, have... Oh no! Close down. So I'm wondering, it's like, is this like a dark form of Mills? Like, is this? Ooh. They told him to shut it down. They said absolutely. And they're they're just. Oh, uh, we gotta keep him running, business, brother. Do you think well, people I... sell their plasma and then go over to Foreman Mills? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they take that money and go buy some gear. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I need Lemon Hen's sweatshirt money right now. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys ever have a job where they got a check casting truck outside of your employer? No, that's the mm-hmm. thing. When I worked at UPS, they used to do that. What? Yeah. As soon as you got done work, it was like you would get done at like three in the morning. On, I think we got paid on Thursdays. You'd walk right outside. There would be like a truck that used to clearly be an ice cream truck, yeah. but it's now cashing checks. Damn. That's crazy that that even exists. Did they also have a snapping next truck? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Nah, I'll see you guys later. I liked it, Tim. <laughs> a, a check cashing truck? <laughs> damn, bro. They got trucks for everything now. <laughs> they for everything? Do. Yeah, bro. I saw, for everything? I saw a truck that it was a dentist truck. Like they ride around oh, the hood and do yeah, like yeah. dental work. That's on my nightmare. There were times in my life where I was like, "We're gonna have to go to the dentist truck." <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. my god! And I just remember thinking, "Like, there's no coming back. That's it." Nah, mm-hmm. you're done. You, yeah, the dentist go. truck is nice. That's my dentist. <laughs> 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 you can watch Netflix and shit while you're gonna uh, yeah. your work done. <laughs> Netflix <It's> and drill. <laughs> 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 I'm back. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, no. Thinking about sending my kids into the fucking RV. You can't do that, bro. With a chair. And yeah. You got a goddamn chiropractor working on your teeth. Yeah. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you got a chiropractor? 
trying to fill cavities. Imagine your dentist gets in a road rage incident while you're fucking getting. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out, bitch. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to go in a dental truck. You don't want to do anything from a truck. You don't want to eat from a truck. You don't want to uh, get your teeth fixed in the truck. Eat from a truck. I love, I love eating from truck. truck. Don't eat from trucks, yo. What are you talking? You about? don't want to eat from a car. You don't eat from a car or a truck. Oh, I, well, hang on. I did eat some really good fucking tacos out of a lady's trunk once. All right. And I was in Cancun, and uh, me and my wife, we were on our honeymoon. We left the resort for like 10 minutes because this older couple was like, you got to have this lady's trunk tacos. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, I've known you for like three hours. I trust you. <laughs> so we left the resort, and they were fucking banging tacos, dude. All right, but in Mexico, you can, in Mexico, yeah. you, you might as well eat from anywhere. It's Mexico. Bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rob, was it out Also, of the, the guy that was supposed to cut your head off with a machete was running five minutes late. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, fuck, they Is left already? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, did they like the tacos? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so do you think it's fair to say that the car he got it out of was a Ford El Pastores? Let's go to the judges on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Damn, bro. This screeching halt has been brought to you by <laughs> the parasites in brain- Mike's brain. <laughs> yeah, though. I had some tacos in um, San Antonio. Worst tacos I ever had in my life. Oh. Those Mexicans can't cook. <laughs> Bad Mexican chef. Was that out of a car? No, this was a this was a restaurant. Oh, okay. So you got to get out the car. That's a trick. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Mm-hmm. And you know what? We were right across from um, what's that shit called? The Alamo. We were Foreman right across the Alamo. And maybe they were just angry. You know, maybe they were just like, you know what? We're not making good food across from the Alamo. You know where you should have gone? You should have got dessert from Pie Alamo. Yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> Pie Alamo. Whoa, that's mm-hmm. our okay. first drop, Danny. Okay. <laughs> oh, we doing dessert jokes. What the fuck is that? <laughs> we doing dessert jokes. You got to you gotta warn me about those mics. Uh, be- before I forget, I just want to say, uh, today's the day where I'm giving away this uh, custom on Perks bat sign. Nice. This bad boy is, you can you can fucking hit balls with this. You can hit your boss over the head with it. Somebody recommended that you can crush pills with this. And uh, we're going to have Bender pick the lucky winner. So, Ben, I want you to pick a number. This will be an order number. Pick a number between one and three thousand one hundred and sixty. Um, two hundred and eighty-seven. All right, that's a great so, number. Let me look this up. Let me see whose number order number two hundred and eighty-seven. That's how many times Naeem has cried. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, that bomb. That sucks. <laughs> Welcome the to the fuck? club, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> Damn, that? Oh, I gotta do one. Let me do one. Let me do one. Let me do one. I got a. I got a bomb. Real quick. Let me get one in. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, the prize is, uh, are you going to sign the bat, Mike? You know it, brother. Mm-hmm. All right, so Weston Jordan, you're the proud owner of Woo! New All Perks Bat. I'm going to get in touch with you, and I'm going to send this bad boy down to you. Yeah, wow. Weston. Congrats, Mike, brother. I, I think congratulations, Mike, on uh, making it official, the the marriage of that color of blue and pill heads <laughs> around the world. True. That is, uh, I mean. It's perfect, honestly. I mean, there's 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 no better color, and I don't know how it got adopted as the. It was unofficial for a long time, but I think you're the guy that finally put it together. Yeah, oh, thanks, buddy, man. But I it, think it people think of perfect. like Xanax and shit like yeah. that. You know, yeah, I read your book while I was on the cruise. Oh, how'd you like it, dude? It's fucking awesome. I Thank loved you. it. It was Thank great. You. My wife was like confused. She's like, "You're reading a book?" I was like, "Shut up." <laughs> <laughs> I saw a picture of you shirtless reading. Yeah, I appreciated dude. that. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was. I was. Uh, dude, it's funny because uh, one of the places the boat stopped was. Um, uh, and fucking Kensington. Na- yeah, Kensington. Well, Nassau, <laughs> so basically Kensington. And um, I got off, and I was sitting on the beach, and I was reading the book, and like nonstop, like the tourists were like offering me like drugs, like what can I get you, oh, like shit. cocaine. I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, I'm literally reading a book. Uh, that's yeah. all perks. You so. had the card flip the green. All we <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I've done perks a couple of times. You like them? I loved them when I yeah, I loved it when I did it. Is uh, only if I could only if I was like mixing it with weed. I don't. I don't like just popping the pill. You know, you got to mix it with some other shit. I remember you mentioned this. Uh, now you said this in front of Jake, and Naeem's like, "Yeah, I was addicted to perks for like two weeks." And yep. Jake's like, "Yeah, that, that's that's a prescription, not an addiction." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. It was a prescription. It, man, it is heaven though. It, it's a great yeah. feeling. Mm-hmm. It's a great feeling. You you feel good. Then you get a little bit of drowsiness at the mm-hmm. end of it. It's good. 
I've taken Adderall before. That's it. Like oh. unprescribed, like just for fun. Yeah. Yeah, that shit, dude. I designed an app when I was on Adderall. <laughs> yeah. And then like after I sobered up, I was like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> like, All right. What was it? What was it? Oh, uh, dude. Uh, somebody out there is gonna steal it. Watch, it's an app for getting more Adderall. Dude, it was <laughs> it was called a uh, passenger chat, and it was you could like chat with people through their license plates and shit. So, oh, like, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And I was on Adderall. I was like, I'm gonna be a fucking millionaire. Like I designed like a whole like fucking. I was like like I don't know like 19. Like I designed like a whole like layout for it in Microsoft Paint and then I sobered up the next day and I was like what this is like I'm not I don't want to do hey, this so like, imagine the message if you're sending messages by license plates oh, like hey fuck you dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah you fucking faggot who drives like that dude that's wake up dude your Tesla's going too slow <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta use the app while you're driving yeah dude so you gotta be like looking at your phone like this fucking pussy but when you're on <laughs> Adderall it's a good idea yeah right <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> mm, that's a good one. But was the idea that only the passenger can use it or was it for anybody in the car? That's where, like, I was, my Adderall brain was like, how can I make this so that, like, it's only, like, the passenger and so we can avoid, because I wanted, I wanted the app to be successful. I was like, this is how mm -hmm. people are going to, like, chat on, like, road trips and stuff and, like, hey, where are you going? That type of thing. But, yeah, it would have just been people, like, fucking texting and driving, like, you fucking asshole. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, put, put your fucking tits out the window bitch, right now. I swear to God. <laughs> Dude sending I'll dick pics. I'll run right off the road. I swear to God, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that'd be terrible. Yeah, bro. Shit, last time I did acid, it made me feel like I was in between all my feelings, and I hate that. I hated that. You were in the corridor. Yes, bro. Yeah. You ever been happy and sad and fucking just extremely elated mm -hmm. and like, yo, my life is fucked up, but my life is great. You're just in between everything. Yeah. That sucks. You're kind of forced to experience everything at the same time. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that yo. sucks. I'm never doing <laughs> acid ever again. No, that's not true. You'll be okay. <laughs> nah, bro, I'm never doing that. I'll do Molly. Mm. That's better. I don't know, man. That's for young people. You think I got, so? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I've got too many demons to wrestle with to take any psychedelics. You, hey, you know? got demons? Yeah, dude. You don't look like you have demons, Rob. Well, I don't like <laughs> you don't not like, like literally. Wrestle? I mean, like you know, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm fucking haunted. I mean, like I got, I don't know, I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing you fighting demons while you're plugging in old ladies' HDMI cord. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I got too many, I got too many thoughts in my head that need to stay there, dude. That's why I don't fucking cry. All right, Ooh, I don't need these man. emotions coming out. That's Those a, are that's a disturbed level. song. You better fucking shut your mouth, dog. What? <laughs> what is? <laughs> Whatever you just said was disturbed lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> the part when you went, ooh, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, oh, how shit. often are you going, ooh, wah? <laughs> dude, that's uh, what I'm plugging. <laughs> 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 More times than I cry, dude. <laughs> Yo. Damn, you got demons. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> look, usually, usually when somebody be like, Yo, I'm, I'm fighting my demons, I'm like, Oh, this nigga gay, bro. <laughs> That's always what I think. I'm fighting my demons. Oh, he sucked dick on the low. <laughs> but what Rob says, it's like, no way, Rob. Uh, yeah, you definitely got demons. <laughs> like, damn. That's crazy. Tim, what's the last demon you fought? Ooh. Um, <laughs> I'm not gay, first of all. <laughs> when's the last time you sucked dick on the low? <laughs> that ain't me, dog. <laughs> Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> this, yo, miss me with that demon shit. <laughs> For real. That ain't me. The demons come out of nowhere like anybody trying to fight. <laughs> yeah, look, bro, if, if demons was real, that's what they would do, dog. Y'all try to square up or something? <laughs> I told y'all, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to paralyze y'all. <laughs> you, you better try and sleep when I'm trying to paralyze y'all. <laughs> Yeah. Are there like black demons and then like white demons? You think? Like, oh, man. Yeah, nah. black demons be like <laughs> <laughs> a, a black demon, a black sleep paralysis demon shows up as the sun's coming up. <laughs> it's just Naeem, Naeem, my bed, like yo. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, bro, it's already yeah. six thirty. The entire time he's watching you sleep, he's just saying no homo. Over. <laughs> he's like he crying in his sleep. <laughs> he's just writing O M W in the mirror. On the <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck he at? <laughs> hey, <dog. laughs> Damn. Naeem, have you ever had a demon? Oh, man. You know what? Yeah, I, I fought a demon before. I used to be addicted to um, stealing power tools from Home Depot. Like when I was in high school. <laughs> yeah. That's how I made most of my money. Mm -hmm. I would go to Home Depot, steal like a $900 drill set, and then take it to the pawn shop. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't stop doing it, bro. Even one time I got caught, and they said I was banned for life. They were like, yo, you can never come back to Home Depot. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, I'm fucking... 17. You're not going to know me when I come back next year. <laughs> Naeem, yeah. You're so convincing, though, in everything that you say that if you had told them that you're black from Black and Decker, they would have believed you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't know me? Come on. Wait till I tell my father about this. 
<laughs> yeah, bro, I used to steal power tools. I actually stole power tools from the fucking Lowe's on Aramingo, and the oh, cops good. chased Fuck me. Them. Fuck Lowe's. The cops chased me. I used to, uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, I was just saying. And so across from there was an abandoned, like, I don't know if it was an old warehouse or something. So when they chased me, they chased me into the warehouse, and I, like, jumped through, like, a broken window, and I cut my fucking stomach, and I didn't know that I was bleeding. So I was hiding inside the warehouse, and when the cops came in there, like, you know, they're looking for, like, come the fuck out of there. So I, the one cop said, yo, he said, if you don't come out now, if I find you, I'm going to fucking shoot you. And that's when I came out. Mm. I'm like, all right, bro, you ain't got to do this. You should call his bluff. Yeah. What if he but didn't find me you? Go. You should have revved the drill. I should have. Hell yeah. <laughs> but they let me go because I was all bloody and shit. And he, mm. and, he, and he saw my high school ID. And then he was like, yo, he was like, look, we had to take you to the hospital first before we could, like, do your paperwork. He was like, I'm about to get off in, like, two hours. He like, yeah. so we're going to just take the drill back and just get the fuck out of here. I'm like, okay. How often do you think that happens where, like, if you time a crime at the time where a shift change normally happens, you'll be able to oh, get away. I'm sure that happens all the time. If the crime isn't too serious, I'm sure that happens all the time. They're like, yo, just go ahead. Like, get the fuck out of here. What do they normally work, 12-hour shifts? I think so. In didn't, Philly. You, didn't you fall asleep at a red light and the cop let you go? Yes. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. So, of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah. They let me go a lot, dog. <laughs> they let me go. One time I got let go because My of rain. My demon took the wheel. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> Hell yeah. One time I got out of one, I got out of a ticket because of rainy. And then uh, one, the other time I fell asleep at the light and he let me go because I just made a fucking joke. And then the, the shit on Air Mango, he let me go because of that. Yeah, that, there was a there was a toy not far from there on Air Mango. There was a Toys R Us, and when we were kids, my friend Jerry got caught um, stealing uh, PlayStation controllers. Oh shit! From Toys R Us, and uh, they caught him outside. They didn't call the cops. How about but that? It was just an employee that caught him and shoved him against the wall. Instantly drops mm -hmm. his. I think he had just like armfuls of PlayStation controllers. What? Shoved against the wall, drops all of them. And the dude punched him in the balls as hard as he could one time. Damn. Damn. That's, that's pretty good. Took the PlayStation controller that's back inside and said, get mm -hmm. the fuck out of here. That's and, a good move. I never really stole shit, but, like, I used to scam kids, like, for Microsoft points on Xbox Live. <laughs> when I was in, like, high school and, like, middle school and shit, I'd be like, you know how you could get in the Call of Duty lobbies? I'd be like, yo, I can unlock all the guns for you. And they'd be like, for real? I'd be like, yeah, come on, join my shit. Give me, like, $40. And they would give me the... Money and I would just block them. <laughs> and then there was there was oh, one yeah. there was one summer where I had like six hundred dollars. I had all the games one summer. I was just, my friends would come over like, damn, you got everything. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's the, that's villain. a good scam. You're that's a villain, good. dude. Yeah. dude. I got demons. I told you. I don't, want to do that. <laughs> I I don't need them motherfuckers coming out. Yeah. I'm gonna take mushrooms and be like, you ruin children's <laughs> lives. Like, no. <laughs> Admit it, you're a gay hacker. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that's a good scam. There's an yeah, eight-year-old scream crying to his parents. Like, <laughs> he said he was going to give it to me. <laughs> and they're on the phone with Microsoft for four hours. Somebody's watching this podcast now going, like, I know his voice sounded fucking familiar, <laughs> that piece of shit. What the fuck? That guy that called me the N-word and took $40? <laughs> I do wonder where those kids are. Like, did I, like, you know the domino effect? Like, did I fuck up some kid's life where he I'm got sure pissed? you did. Dude, like, yeah. Start talking with kids on the internet so you, if you can find some of those guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude, that's what I'm going to start doing. Mm -hmm. No, it takes one thing to fuck up a kid's life. You, you could do one little minor thing, and it'll be different different forever. Like, one time my little cousin Paul fell on the steps, and he chipped both his front teeth. Mm. Bro, he was a demon after that. He just did all <laughs> the worst things. Because now he wasn't cute anymore. Like, yeah. the cuteness was gone. Yeah. And yeah. he just started getting in fights. And Had he lost any of his teeth yet? No, this oh, was before he, he yeah. had his perfect little baby yeah, face. Was, yep, yep. Because that's what you dread. Fritz is at the age where he's about to, he's going to lose his first tooth, and I'm just gonna like I'm never going to look at this kid again. <laughs> he looks perfect right now. He's going to lose one tooth, and we're like, you look so fucked up, dude. They Don't do, even, and to have that have that taken from you, yeah. Dude, I have oh. double molars on both sides of my fucking. Whoa! Because like, like my baby, no, like my baby teeth never fell out on the side of my mouth, so I have two rows of molars. What you never the, got a pulled either? No. Well, I went to the dentist like whatever like 10 years ago and they're like you need to get these pulled and i was like fuck that that sounds painful and i haven't been back since and they don't Damn. hurt well yeah, yeah fuck it if it don't hurt leave them there yeah are you on the lamb from dentists right yeah, now? yeah dude they're <laughs> coming for me dude there's a dentist truck looking for him right <laughs> 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 hey all right Hell i yeah. know you in there pull the fuck over now dude <laughs> Damn, You're lucky bro. my shift's about to change. <laughs> <laughs> I just leave those teeth in there. You're lucky I gotta get gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's why I'm holding this knife, dude. I'm like, they fucking show up. Mm -hmm. You still got baby teeth. Yep. Tim, if Fritz loses one, would you consider taking one out of your mouth? Just so like he doesn't a, feel like bad about it. Yeah. Just one gigantic tooth mm -hmm. that's bigger than the rest of them. No, he would look even more freakish. Like, <laughs> that doesn't solve my problem at all. <laughs> Damn. Sweet boy, though. Mm -hmm. Dude, we got a problem. We got skunks in our neighborhood. Ew. 
You ever have skunks in your neighborhood? No, they smell horrible. I have grass. It's not just Naeem smoking weed. Ooh, could, ooh, could be. <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> could be, yo. I don't know what to do because, so I'm, I'm still in Philly, but I have grass now. Mm-hmm. But we still, everyone still lives on top of each other. All the houses mm-hmm. are still crammed in. So, like, even if I skunk proof my yard, which I think is just lights and, uh, like, lemon peels, there's a hundred yards that a, a skunk could go in and fucking just spray. And so every other night, my entire house smells like a fucking skunk spray. Damn, that what sucks. The, what do they like? Just like eating bugs out of the grass and trash and stuff like that. Mm. So every nice. night when I hear the neighbor's dog outside going like, yip, 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 what's actually happening is it's having a fight with a skunk and a skunk sprays and the entire neighborhood smells. Uh. Also, the 95 on ramp by my house, there's just every, I'd say week, there's a new dead skunk in the middle of the street because there's just so many of them they're getting just trampled hang them up in the door yeah send a message Get a dead one. <laughs> Their head yeah. Spikes. yeah send a message dog yeah. you gotta go fucking you gotta go straight genghis khan you gotta make a line of dead skunks from five miles away to your house leading all the way up to your house yeah it's a line it's gonna of be fun skunks. to explain that to humans i'm like you guys don't understand <laughs> <laughs> i'm sending a message to skunks right now this yeah. isn't for people you're gonna, be in mount, you're gonna be in mount airy putting up dead skunks <laughs> all <laughs> <up to your laughs> <house. laughs> hell yeah bro i was asking mary joe like do you, like because obviously i don't give a fuck i'm like oh it stinks like skunks again but i'm a guy so i'm just like whatever as long as i can fucking eat pop tarts and play video games mm-hmm. i don't really i mm-hmm. can't be bothered that much yeah but mary joe's getting pretty bummed out about them damn so i'm like well do you do you care if it's like a humane trap or anything like like what if I lure them in and like because mm-hmm. if you look on YouTube it's like buy this ninety nine dollar trap put them in, ca- ca- trap them in there drive them to a farm and let them out mm. and my plan was actually I was just gonna get a like a, a a tuna fish can and fill it with like live worms overnight mm-hmm. and then have it go into a cage and then smash the cage with a sledgehammer mm. oh hell yeah that's <laughs> that's my plan but she was into that so I was like oh okay sick this might be pretty easy to deal with. Or get a BB gun and fucking perch up somewhere, like a sniper. Yeah, dog. That's how I would want to. I, I, I want to do that. Ooh, man, I will help you do that. If you want to do Ooh. that, we can do that. We can get BB guns. We're gonna get night vision scopes. Yes, dog. We can get. We're gonna fucking... need a pretty serious Call of Duty loadout. Yes, bro. <laughs> we can get fucking. Camouflage Look, I can hook you gear. up with the guns. All right, <laughs> <laughs> forty bucks. I can. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, you want to be night vision snipers? Yes. Cold as hell. We can get some camouflage gear. We, we can, can build a far. perch in a tree. Hell yeah. We can get some fucking flashbang grenades. How long until we just get bored and start shooting pets, though? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking skunks aren't doing shit tonight. <laughs> just start shooting dogs. <laughs> 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 die, 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 die. Yeah, hey, dog. Are they dickheads like raccoons? I think they're kind of pussies. I think mm. they're always scared. Mm. Like, there's no mm. way to approach a skunk like, hey, little fella. Like, raccoons, they'll at least be like, am I about to get food? Skunks, they're instantly tail up. Yeah. And the way that they spray you, they don't turn around. They hook their butt at you. And it's like, Ooh, I'm looking at oh, you. Oh, really? I go, like that, like a scorpion almost. Yeah, dude, they quick scope you. They, they, they 360 <laughs> no scope you. Damn. Yeah. So f- I, that's, it's on site with skunks. That's a dumbass defense to have. Just it's pretty effective, man. Yeah, you don't want to throw your cheeks at anybody. That's, that's a potential <laughs> opposite. Yeah, dude, like, I don't know. If I was like about to get uh, mugged dude, or if something. You, if you fucked one skunk and let it live, uh-huh. they might all stop forever. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> if word gets back to the nest, <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. the guy's spraying doesn't work anymore. They're all coming back like, guys, I think they're screwed and you're smacking his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could, you could power through a smell. <laughs> yeah, man, I done fucked a couple bitches that stunk. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you could power right through that. <laughs> Naeem, what was the most surprising smell to you? Ooh, okay. I used to have sex with this lady, right? And for like the first three times, it smelled like straight perfume. Mm. So I was like, she's covering something up here. Mm -hmm. There's something deeper going. And she was a beautiful lady. She was so pretty. And then this one day, it was like, I think I had picked her up from work. And she was like, I'm going to get a shower real quick. And I'm like, no, no, no. Let's not get in the shower. Mm-hmm. Let's just, she's like, ah, but I've been at work all day. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Let's just, bro. When she took her fucking pants off, that shit was whamming, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the fuck? It's like, how, how your asshole and your pussy stink this bad? Like, what were you doing, lady? I trapped skunks with my thighs. <laughs> right? I'm like, God. <laughs> Damn it, lady. What, what do they have you doing at the T-Mobile store? Like, <laughs> like, you smell like this? <laughs> it was crazy. What did she do for a living? She worked at a like a call center. So you know how people get those um 
at home heart monitors. Yeah. She worked at a call center for that. Okay. Like she sold them or helped people like hook them up and shit like that. And she smelled that is the worst smell I ever smelled in my that life. That is minimum wage. You were, you were dating a minimum wage woman. Yes, I was. Is that equate a different smell? Yes. Well, I'm just so I so we man I I had to support a call center at my last job, mm-hmm. and I saw the people that they bring in, and it's essentially just like they walk on to a septa bus, and whoever's eating chips before noon, they just mm-hmm. hand them a job application. So you can smell the pussy as soon as you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! And of course, it's the it's the least glamorous office in the entire building, mm-hmm. so there's no windows, or mm-hmm. if there are, they don't open. So you walk in, and it's just like. Whoa, yeah. dude! Like whatever, whatever glue they use for weaves is like. Oh, that shit is horrible. It'll de- it'll disorient you the yeah. second you push a door. That open. shit can make you go blind. <laughs> it really can. Why don't you use that for the skunks? Hit them with some weave glue. <laughs> Actually, put weaves on them. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be oh, biodegradable. <laughs> Damn. Uh, okay. No, you're right. I'll get See, all assaulted by Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, no, he would assault uh, the cats, wouldn't he? Oh yeah, I had a. You're right, dude. I had that backwards. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, like, no, you have to make me look that. stupid, though. Come on, Butterly. <laughs> yeah, maybe look like Get a your tones right. I didn't mean to. Obviously, <laughs> he sexually assaults cats. What the fuck, man? <laughs> In front of everybody, it's okay. In Tim's defense, rapists are more about the power. So I think True. it wouldn't really. And he, he didn't think pinch. that she was a skunk. He thought right. she was a skunk. Right. So actually, I'm wrong, Tim. Yeah, that's all right. Don't See worry. That? About it. That's fine. All's forgiven. Yeah. But yeah, walking to the call center, dude. Like very serious lotion smells. Hmm. And then like and they spray perfume straight into the pussy. They, they spray their <laughs> pussy lips open and cock their leg and just they don't go to gynecologist. They, this they gynecologist. <laughs> That's what they do. They spray their perfume right in there. Now, what do you think the most common uh, pussy perfume is? Oh, that Bath and Body Works fucking uh, strawberry. <laughs> Damn, I used to know the exact name of that shit, bro. They all use that shit. Is it Love Spell? Love spell. That's what the fuck <laughs> is. Hell yeah, it is love spell. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's what it is. I hate the way that shit smells. It makes me feel so poor when I smell it. Yeah. Well, let me tell you this. That smell gets imprinted on the cheapest office chairs that are <laughs> available on the market. Yeah. 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 And uh, uh, also, uh, when I worked at Rita's Water Ice when I was in like high school, my manager would go to the bathroom, right? Mm-hmm. She was this big fat lady named Cassandra, and she would go to the bathroom, and when she had come out, if you went in there after her, it was the lovely. She her pussy smelled marvelous, bro. And she was a manager at Rita's Water Ice. <laughs> when she would go to the bathroom, I would go in there after her just to smell the pussy, bro. <laughs> just to smell the pussy. <laughs> That's the only reason I would go in there. Uh, I'm like, damn, it smelled uh, like this. Are this you guys crazy. open? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wait, hold on, hold on. Sure I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Just to smell it, man. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Wow, you don't meet a lot of fat women who, whose pussy smell like that. I tell you that right now. Have you guys ever like had your wife like going down there and then she like comes back up because it was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had that. Oh for sure, I've had to apologize. I remember one day in, in sp- specifically where she was like, I was like, is everything all right? She's like, <laughs> she got like, yeah. fucking, like, yeah. like more combat. She got, like, she got trying to push two <laughs> magnets together. Now he broke his chair. Now I'm uh, uh, listen, Now that, who doesn't know about Looney Tunes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Daniel's Daniel. fault. That's the Jake Matera memorial chair. Yeah. Oh my God, dude, throw this into a volcano. Damn, Jake. <laughs> Damn. My I wife, like this. My ball smelled so bad one time. My wife. Uh, conned a name for, like a name for them Ohio balls yeah what? dude I was in Ohio I was doing a, a comedy festival in Ohio mm. and my wife came out with me and we were in the hotel room like I think I got to Ohio did the show so six hour car ride show back to the room like didn't shower and she went down she was a champ she was like trying to stick through it I knew something was wrong I was like what's going on she was like I'm so sorry your balls smell so bad. <laughs> oh my god. And so now every time she goes down on me and I'm like worried about like I'm like, do I have Ohio balls? And she's like, No, you're fine. <laughs> so that's a unit of measurement that we use. Ohio there, balls. Bro. Ohio balls. Damn, bro. Well, we just named the episode. <laughs> yep. And on that note, Danny's giving us the high sign. It's time to take this conversation over to the Patreon. Perfect time. Naeem, what do you want to promote? Uh, we have two off the top coming up. Ooh. Um, damn, what's the date for that? Danny, you know the date? March 4th. March 4th. March 4th. Two off the top. Got some great comics. If you mm-hmm. like the last one, you'll love this one. Mm-hmm. We got a special mystery guest. I mean, is it who could it be? Wow. Is it Rodney Dangerfield? What Maybe. Yeah. Is it Bernie Mac? Could be, bro. Hopefully. We might do a seance in there and bring all the motherfuckers back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Then I got, um, oh, I'm going to be in Toronto with Shane, March, the weekend of March 10th, March 9th to the 11th. Yeah. Toronto. Um, and shit. For everything else, check my Instagram, Naeem to underscore Ali. Damn, growing the legend, you know? Trying to, bro. Another page in the tome. Ooh. God damn. Rob, what do you want to promote, brother? Uh, I'm recording my first special in March, March 4th. Um, I'm going to be at Mickey's Black Box in Lidditz, PA. If you want to come see me, uh, tape my special. I'm, I think I'm doing like 30 minutes, So, but it's going to be a fun time. Uh, Jim Gillespie's going to be there. The man. You guys, Woo! Yeah, he's Jim the man. man. So much. Uh, you can get tickets uh, on my Instagram in my bio at Rob Stant Comedy. Hell yeah. Yep. Oh, speaking of uh, our dear friend Jim Gillespie, he sent us a picture of Rob's demon. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. The fuck? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is that? Peanut butter? Yeah, that's peanut butter. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> One time I got really fucked up with my boys, and I was eating. He was peanut- actually sucking a dog stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Those are the demons I have, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, you're not playing, dog. Damn. <laughs> I got fucked up with my boys on Discord. This is during like uh, lockdown, like COVID and shit. Yeah. And I was eating peanut butter out of a jar, and they were like, "I dare you to spread that shit all over your head." And I was like, "Well, if it'll make you laugh." And then I did it. Nice. And then I got, and then it stained the carpet. I had to get the carpet replaced. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah. That's sad. Yeah. It was. <laughs> yeah. It was worth it. Tim, give out your Twitch. <clears throat> oh yeah, Twitch is on fire right now. It's twitchtv slash Tim Butterly. Uh, this Sunday we had our first brainstorming session for Fat Bitch Dark Souls. Uh, this week I'll be creating a private Discord where a, a, a number of people have reached out to help make this video game real, and uh, I'm going to assemble everybody in one place, and we're going to start uh, seeing who can who can do what. And uh, I think I think this is going to be a real video game that exists at some point. I know it will. And when we switch over to the Patreon, can you elaborate further on this? Because for the people that weren't there, this this is well, a I started billion talking about idea. I started talking about it last week on Dad Meat, and uh, you know I'm just such a fucking autist that it's it's kind of tough to like convey what I'm thinking about something when I'm already that deep in it. So I'll mm-hmm. I'll, I'll backstep a little bit and I'll mm-hmm. explain it and where we're and the roadmap mm-hmm. for for actually developing this video game. This is gonna be my life's work. Um, that's twitch.tv slash Tim Butterly. Join us. Oh, sorry yeah. not to interrupt you, but Jim's going to kill me if I don't plug our podcast, uh, oh, at, at two in the oh. stink podcast. That's me and Jim Gillespie's podcast. Dude, I tried to get him on today too, but Jimmy was busy. So, ah, so the next time you come back, come on with Jimmy. Yeah, for sure, dude. He's, he's back in like March, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll invade him. He's the man. Sick. Hey, before we go, I just want to promote my book on perks. Uh, thank, thank you to those of you that have bought it. Tim. That fucking Chrysler 300 is getting so close. I can smell it, bro. Ooh, man. Once I hit 5,000 copies sold, I'm going to treat myself to a Chrysler 300. And a couple people hit me up uh, with a couple different resources that you can locate or that I could possibly locate. Yeah, we need that VIN, man. My mm-hmm. my Chrysler 300 that got repoed a few years back. Wow. So that's my dream, Naeem. But if I can't make that happen, I do want to treat myself to a Chrysler 300. So go to onperks.com, O-N-P-E-R-C-S.com, and... Uh, yeah, um, we gave away this bat today. I can't wait to reveal next week what I'm giving away for the next phase. Ooh, I don't even know about this. Oh, it's going to be actual perks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that might be included. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to continue to give fun shit away. And uh, the next thing up, I think, is really going to be uh, people are really going to enjoy. Mike, so. uh, is it true, uh, according to Anthony Bogus in the chat, you smelled Shaner's balls? I don't think I have. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Says, I don't think I, I don't remember know. how fucking funny. If I did, just re- just Shaner's balls was refresh my memory. But shout out to you know, shout out to Anthony that. Bogus by the way. I yeah. I got I got dung on the uh, dinged rather. I got dinged on the uh, dad meat email account. Uh, like with a, a million new uh, YouTube comments on really old episodes, and it was just a bunch of them where this dude Anthony Bogus going back to old episodes and just like big upping shit. Oh, that's very oh, cool. hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, before that, we go to, I mean, we got into it at the beginning of the episode, but I can't tell everybody just how much Tim and I appreciate those of you that came out to the Shady Maple Breakfast. It was the fucking the best thing that could have possibly happened the day after the fucking Eagles lose the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Just incredible, and I can't wait to set up the next fucking thing and. We're gonna continue to more, do more shit like that. It was it was totally worth it. It was it was the best idea ever. It was perfectly executed. Uh, we should go to an amusement park. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> like we should do a big ass Six Flags. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, or Dorney. Dorney. Dorney's Dorney. nice. Yeah. Hershey's cool. Hershey's not. Yeah. Her- That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Is Clementon Park closed? Clementon's. Open. I hope so. We could do. It should be closed. But let's it's send our demons. Not. Let's send our demons to Clementon. Yeah, yeah, we'll go to Hershey. <laughs> I just I want to I want to put this out there. If you go to YouTube and look up Clementon Park Twerk Party. 
once you watch that, you what? want to go to Clementon that, Park. If by it's the still way, operational. Yes. That's going to be a level in Fat Bitch Dark Souls. Clementon Park? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to model Clementon Water Park. Oh, my God. And that's going to be a level in Fat Bitch Dark Souls, dude. <laughs> you better have an enchanted bikini with, like, plus 12 strength or something, or you're going to die. Uh, All right. Uh, see you guys on the Patreon. The Patreon. <laughs> Yo.